you never know as an athlete when you're making an impression upon someone very far away. If you'll indulge me just for a moment, growing up in Seattle, Washington, I was a huge baseball fan. Played the game All-Star Baseball and Stratomatic. And I can relate to Mr. Bender, at least on one level, in that I did the play-by-play -play for every game that we ever did. Did the box scores, argued with my brothers. One of my pitchers was Paul Lindblad. As about a 10-year-old or a 9-year-old growing up, Paul Lindblad was one of my guys. So that's the first stream of consciousness I had about a guy that I get to introduce for induction into the Hall of Fame tonight. It's amazing how things go full circle. The lefty from Chinook, Kansas. Played in the major leagues for 13 years. Played for five different teams, most prominently amongst them, the Oakland A's. Was around three World Series championship teams, two in Oakland, one with the Yankees. Set a major league record from 96 to 1974 by going 385 games without making an error. He was named American League All-Star Team in 1975. Finished his career with 68 wins, 64 saves, and a 3.29 ERA. He was the last pitcher to face Willie Mays, who he induced into a ground out. He was inducted into the Kansas Baseball Hall of Fame in 2000. We lost Paul in January of 2006 in Arlington, Texas, but he will always live on in the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. We are blessed tonight to be joined by his wife, Kathy. Kathy, I want you to rise and take in the applause and the affection of the crowd. trek here to honor Paul's memory from Chanute or wherever you might be to rise because we've got quite a contingent tonight from Chanute. Get out of baby. All right, guys. Paul Lindblad into the Kansas Sports Hall of Fame. 